welcome back to journey's hub today i'm going to show you how to make my very own biryani recipe so the ingredients that i'm going to use to make my biryani is very simple very forward so you don't have to crack your head too much so as i'm displaying all the ingredients you better jot it down because we're going to start cooking anytime soon just to remind you this particular biryani is how i love to do it but if you have a better recipe don't forget to share it with me in the comment box as you can see in this video this is my marinated chicken usually i marinate the chicken 1 hour before i start cooking so in that way you'll have the flavors the richness soaked inside and when you start cooking it out the flavor comes out really good so in the beginning process i would always love to have bay leaves cinnamon cardamom and clove and lots of lots of onions onions gives the great taste for your biryani guys so you can either choose onions or shallots either way it's going to taste good so I'll let the onion turn color for a bit let it be transparent let it sit there for a while before you can add in your green chilies your chili padi and tomatoes You got to cook them until all the ingredients become softened and only then you can add on the next ingredients. So you got to wait for a bit, keep stirring in a medium heat. Don't want anything to get burned. So keep stirring. Once you think it's there, all right, then you can add your ginger garlic paste. Make sure you either pound it or blend it because you don't want to have small pieces of ginger garlic lying around everywhere. So now the ingredients look ready. You can now add your chicken piece by piece. Make sure you spread them all around your wok. You don't want to just focus on one place. And once you're done with all the chicken, start stirring them. Mix it real well and let it sit for a while. Let it bring up the juice from the chicken and let it boil and simmer. Only then you'll get the aroma, the taste out of the chicken flavors. So basically my biryani I do not add any flavors to the basmati rice okay although it's just soaked in water I only focus on the chicken marination so if you have done a good job with the marination and all the other ingredients which you put in earlier you will achieve a wonderful biryani trust me on these guys right so now you can see that it's all juiced up you can add in your yogurt as much as you want yogurt gives additional taste to your biryani it can literally enhance the spices in your biryani so do not forget yogurt during this process you got to keep stirring the gravy just keep mixing them add salt to taste and you don't want to lose the gravy so make sure you do it in medium heat or low heat okay so that gravy is got to go into your rice cooker later which I'll show you just hang on a second so i would prefer gravy rather than the chicken to be dried up okay just wait and watch all right the gravy looks good it's bubbling already and the chicken looks cooked as well Make sure it doesn't loosen up from the bone too much. So right now, I'm going to transfer it to the rice cooker, and then we're going to add on the rice on top of the chicken. There you go. The rice is all in. So we're just going to stir it up. let the rice evenly spread into the rice cooker and if necessary you got to add a little bit more water just to make sure all the ingredients are underneath and it's not popping above the water level and for the final touch i'm going to garnish it with coriander leaf just a generous amount and let's start cooking it since i'm using an electronic cooker so i'm just going to put it in quick cook it will take about less than 1 hour for 3 cups of rice to cook 
and in the meantime I'm gonna show you how I made my writer right here I'm just adding in onions and yogurt mix them well if you think it's too little add more yogurt so that you have more paste so together with the yogurt you can garnish it with coriander leaf or if you don't like it you can garnish it with chili so right here I'm doing it with green chili add salt to taste and keep stirring them mix it well until it incorporates and that's it your raita is ready presenting my biryani it's done guys it looks so good and trust me it smells so good as well I tell you what I'm so happy to be sharing my recipe with you and I hope you guys learn something from it and make sure to try it yourself and don't forget guys to subscribe like and share stay tuned for the next recipe next week love you guys bye bye